Hello Loiter, we get a scene in. My name is Saurav and I am starting a complete series of A1. A1 level means after the series you will be able to attempt German Embassy A1 paper. Okay, so I am creating this video in the sequence. So try to watch this video in the sequence to understand better. Okay, I'm not gonna leave any topic which is relevant for the paper. Okay, so let's get started. Los gets. So our name is language Schuler. Language Schuler means Schuler is means school. Language school. Welcome to the language school. Now I have made Okay, before starting, if you are new, if there you are those students who have not decided yet that whether you should choose in, uh, German language or any other language, then I have put few information for you that why you should choose a German language. This information I have taken from the Google. You can also go and check for the informations. Nothing I have added from my side, myself. This all information are from Google only. Okay. Now Google have a lot of information, but again, I am giving you a small suggestion. Pick the right information because Google have a lot of right or wrong information. Both are there. So pick the right information before choosing any language. Okay. These are the things that advantage of studying in German. What are the advantages of studying in Germany? Is that a tuition free because there's education is free in Germany. Second thing, world class university. You can read this and economical cost of living. Cost of living is also uh, very uh, less as compared to other country. I will not say very less, but yes, quite economical. See, as an Indian or as uh, any other country, if you're living, that we all we try to opt free things, and German has a free education system. That point attract lot of foreign traffic to the Germany. Okay, and you can also take the advantage if you know the language, if you want to go to for, go to uh, foreign for the further studies, then Germany is the best option for you. Now, few more slides I have put. If you have already, uh, if you know these things, you can skip this video for one or two minutes according to your convenience. <laughs> okay. Now, second thing is that why the German language? Why you should opt German language? Again, this is spoken by 200 million people as official German language, official language. Okay. This slide is also here. You can read this slide. And the last one is career scope in Germany. Two, pi uh, two type of people study language. First, who want to go to Germany? Second, the people who want to create their uh, job opportunity in India only. So those who want to go to Germany, they have a free education system and other facilities. Those who want to enhance their career in India only, for them, this slide is relevance. Why? Because uh, after learning this language, you can you can opt these profession. You can be the interpreter. You can be the translator. You can be and several MNCs like Amazon, IBM. These company are creating a lot of German jobs. So you can opt that as well. Okay. And I think uh, now India is also promoting languages. They have put in the schools, university, every time they have made it mandatory to learn. So yes, it will gonna give you a great opportunity in future as well if you learn this language. Now, you can also uh, pause this video and read this, <laughs> go through it. Now, move to Korean in German again, you can read. Now, this information, I think 80% student know what is this level means. German language or any language has their certain levels like German has A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. A1, A2 is known as a beginner level. B1, B2 is known as what? Intermediate level and C1, C2 is known as proficiency level. Now, if you want to go to Germany, many colleges demand B1 level. Okay, many colleges, few colleges are also there which demand till A2 only but many colleges demand B1. So if you are planning to go to Germany, study till B1 and the second type of people who want to enhance their career 
दे हैव टू मेजरली और ऑलमोस्ट एवरी फॉर्म डिमांड बी टू दे आर ओनली फ्यू फॉर्म विच डिमांड सी वन अदरवाइज बी टू इज अ वे सफिशियंट टू गेट अ जॉब अ गुड पेड जॉब इन इंडिया और आउटसाइड एज वेल सो बी टू इज अ रेलिवेंट फॉर स्टडी फॉर स्टडी यू हैव टू डू टिल बी वन after b1 you can apply in any colleges of germany germany and uh, for job purpose you have to do till b2 okay so these are the language level we have not divided it german embassy did okay now move to the learning portion in this particular series we are going to focus all the four aspects listening reading writing and speaking all the four aspect we are going to focus okay because again german embassy take exam in this four aspects so we are going to cover this four aspects okay let's start today's session and the learning portion now welcome to german with sorav and our topic today's topic is the beg ryu sung the topic name is the beg ryu sung try to understand few rules before starting the series there's two rule first rule feel free to make n number of mistakes make mistakes i'm here to correct you okay you can watch this video in loop okay feel free to make n number of mistakes mispronunciation but second thing try to pronounce with me first make mistake second try again and again and again language is the game of pronunciation okay language if your language is not clear then you cannot transfer idea from one brain to another brain so language should be very clear okay for that pronunciation should be very clear so every word i am teaching you i request everyone to pronounce with me try to make that sound okay now so the first topic name is what beg ryu sung speak with me beg ryu sung this beta sign give the sound of double s beta sign sung beg ryu sung the topic name is beg ryu sung beg ryu sung is what is greetings and salutation okay greetings and salutation we are going to learn greetings and salutation again greeting is very important because german people are very formal they used to wish you many time in a day and one more tip i'm going to give you is very relevant don't forget it when you are entering your examination hall for a1 exam or a b1 exam any exam don't forget to wish your teacher if you don't wish your teacher teacher will gonna deduct you it is a chance that teacher will deduct your one marks so when you are entering your examination room then you have to wish your teacher good morning or good afternoon whatever the time is but in german not in english okay so today's topic is the begryu sung begryu sung means greetings and salutation and now let's get started for our session this uh, the first part is this see in english we say hello in english we say hello in german it become hallo hello become hallo hello hallo hello hallo can you see the difference hallo hallo leute hallo is hello in german okay hallo speak with me again i told you na language is game of pronunciation so try to speak with me hallo okay now move to next next one is how to say good morning good morning see good morning is guten guten morgen guten morgen guten morgen guten morgen is good morning again speak with me guten morgen guten morgen guten morgen so we learn two things hello guten morgen hello guten morgen now move to next one next one is good guten guten tag guten tag what is it guten tag guten is again good and tag is day guten tag 
Guten Tag is good day. What is it? Guten Tag. If you have watched several uh, Bollywood movies even, when they uh, are shooting in Berlin or in any part of Germany, they use this in movie. But at that time we don't focus because we don't know it. Now you can see in many movies they are using this term. Guten Tag. Guten Tag means good day. Okay, good day. And local German people use this for good afternoon as well. Local German people, you are not allowed to do so. If someone asks what is Guten Tag, then good day. Good day is Guten Tag. Okay, now move to next. We learned three. What is it? Hallo, Guten Morgen, Guten Tag. Okay, now move to the next one is, uh, wait. Next one is Guten. Now what is the exact dialogue for good afternoon? See, you have to know how to say good afternoon. We know that Guten Tag can be used for good afternoon, but you have to know the particular dialogue. So again, speak with me. Guten, Guten, Nach, Nach, don't say Nach or anything. Nach, Mit, Tag, Nach, Mit, Tag. Guten, Nach, Mit, Tag. Guten, Nach, Mit, Tag. Guten, Nach, Mit, Tag. What is it? Guten Nachmittag. Okay. So again, we know Guten is good. Nach means after. And Mittag. Mittag means noon, mid of the day. Tag is day, na? mid of the day is noon. So what is the meaning is? Good after noon. Good afternoon. Guten Nach Mittag. Guten Nach Mittag. Okay, so what we learned till now is, see, first we learned hallo, then guten, morgen, guten, morgen, then we learned what? Guten, tag, guten, tag, guten, tag is good day. And the fourth one is guten, nach, mitag. Till here everything is clear, I hope that you are able to speak because you are speaking with me okay now move to the next one is next one is good evening how to say good evening in german see guten abend guten abend what is it guten abend guten abend is good evening now few people say it this is a bend, but few people say it a bend. There is no T at the end, there is a D at the end, so it is a bend. What is it? A bend. Guten a bend. Guten a bend. Guten a bend is good evening. Guten a bend. Guten a bend. Yes. Now move to the next one is good night. And this is quite, means it is not difficult, but try to make the correct pronunciation with me. See, I am very much focused that from the day one, you should make correct pronunciation. So try with me. Yes. The good night is not gute. Many people I know that they are, they are reading this gute or anything. Whenever there is E at the end, it will the create the sound of a. So it is a not gute, it is gute. Gute Nacht. What is it? Gute Nacht. Guten Nacht, Guten Nacht, Guten Nacht is good night, Guten Nacht, okay. Now I think 50% uh, student might be thinking, Ki, sir everywhere it is, uh, everywhere it is, sorry, everywhere it is uh, Guten, why here no N, only Guten, why no N? Again, it is a matter of grammar you will not understand right now. Once we start grammar, you will be able to understand why Guten Nacht, why not Guten. Okay? So now, we learned five things. Hallo, Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Guten Nachmittag, Guten Abend und Guten Nacht. Is this six is clear? Can we move to the next one? Now. See the next one. Next one, how to say bye. Bye in German, how to say bye. Bye is choose. Choose, what is it? 
choose ts don't say to choose or anything it is silent so it will give the sound of choose choose is by what is it choose choose is by okay so i am teaching you this for one purpose that you are going to use this in daily life see if you are not using this in daily life like talking to the friends or family mother father if you are not wishing them in german even though they will not understand that doesn't matter you have to speak you have you don't have to worry about ki samne wale person ko samajh mein aa raha hai ya nahi aa raha hai you have to speak okay so speak with the people around you okay so choose is by choose okay now move to the next one next one is quite not difficult easy one <laughs> okay what is it auf auf wieder zehen s is z in german so zehen auf wieder 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 zehen see again see the formation wieder means again and zehen means to see so the combined meaning is to see you again okay auf wieder zehen auf wieder zehen auf wieder zehen means see you again but it is also used to say goodbye it is also used to say good bye okay auf wieder zehen at the end of this session as well you have to wish me and what choose auf wieder zehen you have to speak me what choose auf wieder zehen okay you will write in the comment box now auf wieder zehen is goodbye or see you again next one next one now learn some normal dialogues again these dialogues are to use in class like like if i ask you that everything is clear then you will say yes sir how to say everything is clear you are understanding everything these are the dialogues we are going to learn which we have to use in our class till here i hope that everything is clear now we are moving for the next dialogue let's see so next one is alas klar alas klar what is it alas klar alas klar means all clear alas klar did you understand everything don't say yes sir you have to say alas klar alas klar is all clear all clear yes sir all clear alas klar okay move to the next one next one is how to say thanks in german again how to say thanks in german thanks is danke what is it danke danke is thanks see danke as i said whenever e at the end it gives sound of a so danke danke is thanks danke 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 is thanks like gute danke can you figure it out the difference not gute danke it is danke 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 is thanks again move to the next one we learn is see hello is bit formal hello is bit formal when we are talking to uh, our senior people or being formal then we use hello but when we are talking to friends do we use hello no we use hi hi everyone so hi is moin moin what is it moin moin is hi okay moin moin is hi okay so now the next one don't worry we will take a recap okay next one is if someone say thanks then we have to say welcome welcome how to say welcome in german now welcome is willkommen welcome is what willkommen what is it willkommen will common willkommen is welcome okay welcome clear now let's see what we have learned first is okay uh take next slide recap okay wait 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 let's have a recap here only 
so we learned what try to speak with me first one is hello second one is guten morgen guten morgen and the third one is guten tag guten tag okay fourth one is guten abend guten abend okay next one is gute nacht gute nacht okay this thing we learn then we learn what cheers 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 means bye hello guten morgen guten tag guten abend guten nacht cheers then we learned what auf wieder sehen auf wieder sehen auf wieder sehen is see you again then we learned what alles 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 is what we used to do alles na in hindi we know alles is laziness so alles klar the same sound alles klar alles klar means all clear that you understood everything then the next one is danke danke is thanks thanks danke next one is we learned moin moin is hi hi and the last one is welcome and welcome is welcome these are the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 okay 11. i think we missed one or what okay so these are the 11 or 12 words we have okay moin danke alles klar ha okay these are the things we learned i hope that you have learned with the correct pronunciation okay so you have to what practice this then in the next video we will learn more these are greetings how to greet german people you learned till now practice this see you in the next video before going i have certain information for you uh you can join our latest batch as well and you uh, for batches and for immigration you can contact us this is our official mail id or in this video niche description in the description you can find a form or a link through which you can follow us in different different platforms and so that is all for today now at the end danke danke okay we missed danke Cheers und auf Wiedersehen. You also have to write Cheers auf Wiedersehen.